Recapping your top stories this hour, a report from the United Nations Children's Fund has warned that the global number of refugee and migrant children moving alone has reached a record high. UNICEF's latest report found that 92% of all children arriving in Italy, a gateway into Europe, were unaccompanied or separated. And the children from sub-Saharan Africa account for 64% of detected trafficking victims. Security agencies in the Democratic Republic of Congo are hunting for up to 50 prisoners who broke out of jail on Wednesday. This follows an attack on, Kinshasa, on Kinshasa's Makala prison that led to the escape. Now, according to government spokesman Lambert Mende, followers of a Christian sect called Bundu Dia Congo, led by Nemwanda Nsemi, are suspected to have carried out that dawn attack. The UN Security Council is warning that the humanitarian situation in Somalia caused by a raging drought is worse than originally projected. It says more must be done to help the country build resilience. The UN Deputy Envoy to Somalia, Raisa Donzenenga, also highlighted the continued threat posed by Al-Shabaab. And one person has been killed and at least a dozen people injured after a speeding vehicle struck pedestrians on a sidewalk in New York City's Times Square on Thursday. Police reportedly said the driver lost control and the collision appeared to be an accident. But a witness told Reuters the vehicle drove against the traffic before hitting the curb and striking pedestrians. The driver is said to be in police custody and the area has since been sealed off. And those are the top stories we're following this hour.